Spreading itself across rivers like a dense green carpet, this is one of nature's enemies, floating pennywort. It grows up to 20 centimetres a day and threatens native plants and fish. Here on the River Colne, it's also affecting local residents. It's unfortunately, my dog Milligan, uh, Black Labrador, loves swimming. Um, two occasions he's fallen in the water, being tangled. Had we not been here, the dog would have drowned. Um, last year we did rescue a deer out of the water. I mean, that was quite hair-raising because the animal was frightened. The pennywort hasn't taken hold of all the river yet, but Jay took this photo last summer showing how much more this non-native plant spreads. Floating pennywort is native to North and South America as well as parts of Africa. It was brought to the UK in the 1980s as an ornamental plant, and then someone somewhere, without realising their actions, transferred it from their pond to our waterways. Last year, 50 tonnes of pennywort was pulled from the Thames. It is causing a dramatic impact and we want to arrest its spread and then wherever we can to control it and ensure that we no longer have the problems that we are at the moment. But it is going to be a fairly long task. For the task to be successful, disposal must be done properly. So if you have it in your pond, listen up. It is compostable. Um, but the thing is, is that there should be some uh, criteria that you'd need around it to safely compost it. You need to make sure that there's, it's sort of fairly quarantined, um, there's no risk of it being carried away from either perhaps wildlife or perhaps passerbys. Now's the best time to tackle pennywort before warmer weather encourages its ever so rapid growth. Helen Drew, BBC London News, by the River Colne.